sin, and I'm mm. not quite sure what you mean by what is criminalized, but let me just say a few preliminary things. Okay. I think it's clear from the conversation around this table that there are risks when things have not been finalized and they are leaked in the public domain. There are risks when opinions take the place of fact. There are risks when there's mi deliberate misinformation. There are risks when issues that should not be politicized are politicized. And I think we should rescue all of that because really what lies at the heart of this? Mm. What lies at the heart of this is the question of what should our children know about sex and sexuality? Who should be telling them? At what level should they be introduced to what? That's what lies at the, head, uh, at the, at the, at, at, at the bottom of all of this. And the education service is saying that as a place where more children spend time, mm. and because we are teaching children all kinds of values and life skills, we ought to be teaching them the facts of sex and sexuality. Their church, as you saw, thinks that they should. Mm -hmm. eh? They think parents also should. And we need to ask our, uh, our, ourselves the question, who can, is it mutually exclusive to begin with? Because all these socializers can do it. The media does. But we also need to be clear what the facts are so that our children can protect themselves. So you're saying, back to your question, and I think you, you just, it, it is a bit of a mischievous question. And, and <laughs> no, and I'm not, I'm not that okay, interested. I'm yeah. going to deal with it very quickly. Right. And I'm not interested in it because there are real issues we should be debating. Mm. And the real issues is what do our children know about sex and how can they uh, protect themselves against the, the, the ravages of not knowing, of ignorance, uh, their health, HIV, AIDS, adolescent pregnant, uh, sexuality, and pedophilia. What are they so, being taught to be tolerant of so, and not to be judgmental about? Yes, but why are you narrowing it to... The, what I, is I the want larger to know. issue? I want to know. What are they supposed I to be do tolerant not know. of? And what are they I not do, to judge? I do not know because I am not in the education service. But when I read a document that says, teach your children to be tolerant and not judgmental, the way I understand it... In the context it, of their sexuality. sexuality. ...is to understand that there are different uh, ways in which people express sexuality. There are different ways... Uh, there are different people who have different cultural practices and values when it comes to sexuality. When you encounter those, you have to understand that it is within that context, okay? Kweku has already said that tolerance also means you don't attack people because you happen not to agree with them. That's actually committing a crime. But it's not just about criminality. Mm. It's also about morality. If you do not agree with people, you do not attack them, even verbally, which may not be a crime. Because you have to respect people's differences. We're in a global world, we're in a global context. We have to teach our children mm. to be tolerant. We also have to teach our children that not everybody believes what they believe in. That's what we mean by tolerance. That's what we mean by not being judgmental. You can have your own values, mm. so, believe so, in so them, so and that. be strong yeah. in your so, mind so you, about what it is. So, so that when you encounter, no, I'm not so allowing that, you so to that talk. We, so that, so that when well. you <laughs> yeah. allow, mm. so that when you meet somebody whose values, including adults who should be protecting you, whose values seem to clash with yours, you can challenge them. You can.